greet the babies, the pregnant ladies, and all of those that are watching us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Let's begin our class. I invite you all to close your eyes. We're going to plead by the blood of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, we plead by the blood of Jesus, asking for peace. Lord, clean our hearts. Give us fellowship with the Lord in this class. It's our plea in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Let's begin praising the Lord. The song, Just Like a Leaf. Just like a leaf blowing in the wind, this way and that in the breeze, I also want to be wherever the Holy Spirit may lead. No longer do I do what I want, but what God reveals, just like the leaf goes along with the wind that blows, I also want to be wherever the Holy Spirit may be. I also want to be wherever the Holy Spirit may lead. Glory to God. Let's continue praising the Lord. A new day. A new day broke through the darkness, shining the light of Jesus' love. His peace began to reign in me when Jesus made his home in my heart. A new day broke through the darkness, shining the light of Jesus' love. His peace began to reign in me when Jesus made his home in my heart. learning about salvation the salvation that Jesus gives us we're going to learn today one more story from the Bible the Word of God this story is written in the book of John chapter 3 verse 3 let's read it together Jesus answered and said to him most assuredly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God Today's story is the story of Nicodemus, this person right here. He had an empty heart. Nicodemus wanted to know Jesus. Nicodemus wanted salvation. So, he had an encounter with Jesus. Look at Jesus right here with him. And do you know what the Lord Jesus said to him? Jesus said to him, Nicodemus, for you to see the kingdom of God, for you to live in heaven, you have to be born again. When Nicodemus heard this, he thought, Do I have to go back into the my mom's belly? 
Do you see the screen here? Right, a mother's belly. Did Nicodemus already as an adult, already all grown up, did he have to go back into his mother's belly so he could be born again? Do you think this is what Jesus was talking about? No, no, it wasn't that. To be born again, I'm going to explain to you. When Jesus said to Nicodemus that to live in heaven, you have to be born again. He is talking about that Nicodemus had to, you know what? He had to be born by the water and the spirit. To be born again is to be born out of the water, which is the word of God. The word of God is what cleans, purifies our lives. When we hear the word of the Lord, we believe that Jesus is the son of God. We receive salvation. This is what Jesus was saying. This is what the Lord Jesus wants to give to us, for me, to you. Jesus wants us to be born again, which is to be born by the water and the spirit. But what does it mean to be born of spirit? Born of water and the spirit is because when we receive salvation, we also received the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit helps us walk in the direction of the Holy Spirit and the, the way of the Lord. Helps us understand the word of God. And that's what it means to be born of the water and the Holy Spirit. It means to have salvation. Now you may be asking, but I don't see the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, he lives in our hearts. Do you know that? How is it to feel the Holy Spirit? I'm going to ask you now to so blow your hand. The adult that is with you, they can help you, okay? Let's blow our hands. Did you blow it there? Did you feel the wind in your hand? Exactly. You did not see the wind, but you felt it. Let's do it again. That's like the Holy Spirit. We don't see the Holy Spirit, but we feel it. We feel the Holy Spirit in our lives. Glory to Jesus. And this is what the Lord wants to teach us, wants to give to us. He wants to give us salvation. He wants, to, he wants us to be born again, to be born of the water and in the Spirit. It's to walk in the direction that the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit until the day that we are with Jesus in heaven. And now, a word to the mothers and those responsible. Today's class, we learned about salvation, about being born again, about the life we have with Jesus. Our children are learning about how to walk in the ways of the Lord, grow up in the Lord's presence. But it's necessary that our children have an experience, a personal experience of salvation. We must pray so that our children have this experience, even at a young age, so they can understand the word of God, believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and they can live this life full of the Holy Spirit. And now, to end this class, we're going to sing a song. A certain prince, or certain man, Prince of the Jewish. certain man, Prince of the Jewish. Went to the master and asked. We will know that you are master sent from God. How can someone be born again? Was not born from water and from spirit, cannot see the kingdom of God. But the one that remains faithful, until the end, 
we'll see it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I invite you all to close your eyes. Let's end our class. Lord, we would like to thank you, to praise you for this teaching because, Lord, we received from you this great salvation. We praise you. We thank you for this amazing gift for life in Jesus. Accept our class in the name of Jesus. Amen. To all, the peace of the Lord Jesus.